Hi, I'm Stephanie Roach. I'm a professional footballer and I play for Ireland and Sunderland Ladies. I'm supporting Lelet's campaign to talk about becoming a teen. I think like with me growing up anyway, I was always kind of my own my own person. I'd never kind of follow a crowd or anything like that, but I always had a group of friends who I grew up with in Shank Hill who I'd always be with and, and spend my day to day with. But then when I went to school and stuff like that, I met new friends, which is always good to have because, I mean, you're always going to have different friends who have different interests and stuff. And I have my football friends as well and, and the lads who I grew up with as well who would have been playing football with me during the day as well. So it's kind of, I had so many different groups of friends, but it's, it's always kind of good. It's never a bad thing to have, to have different friends. Yeah, definitely. I think it was always something. It's a part of growing up, I suppose. I think um, I had a certain group of friends. I mean, I had girls who I just kind of went off and done girly things with, but I always had a group of boys who I'd go and play football with. And I think growing up, football was all I wanted to do. So as soon as I seen the lads come over with a ball, I was gone. And I think that definitely did kind of annoy the girls sometimes. But I was just so wrapped up in my own <laughs> world. I didn't really care, to be honest. But I think it happens all the time. I think a lot of my friends were understanding because they knew I wanted to play football. But you definitely get that all. Oh, the odd kind of like, oh, she's sly, she's going off with the lads again to play football and you know, that kind of way, whereas they kind of wanted me to stay with them and do what they were doing. I don't think anyone would have predicted what's happened to me over the last two years. I think it's been crazy, but I think my friends knew how much I love football and how much I put into it. And I think when I was on, when everything that was going on last year, I think everybody was saying to me, you deserve it. And it couldn't have happened to a better person now, which is nice to see because I think they knew how much I wanted it and wanted to do well. I think um, all dads know that their little girl is going to grow up someday. I mean, I'm 26 and my dad still treats me like I'm 12, so you're never going to get that much freedom from your dad. They always want to look after you and want to make sure that you're their little girl. And I think that's the way all dads are, but um, they know in their own heads and hearts that you're going to grow up and they'll, they'll give you the respect and treat you as much as they can as a woman, but they're always going to see in, your, in their eyes you're their little girl. So you're going to have to understand that it's always going to be that way with your dad. I spent a lot of my time with my dad and my brother, surprisingly enough, and I think I was, for most of my friends it would have been different. I remember talking to my friends about it, but uh, I'd be really close to my dad, and if I needed to get stuff or I needed anything when I was on my period or anything, I was able to talk to him and say it. Um, I think every girl goes through that patch. I think even now as an adult I go through them type of things or phases that like I just don't want to talk to anybody. I want my own space and I don't want to see anybody or anything like that. But there's always going to be that time in your life where you have those phases. But I think it's better to kind of get out and talk to people about whatever's bothering you. If there's something that is on your mind or something that you want to talk to people about, don't be afraid to do it because more than likely there's probably someone out there who you're going to go and talk to who will have the same experience or will have some sort of I suppose words of encouragement they can give you to, to help you get over whatever's going on in your mind. Growing up I was really good friends with boys and I think I only looked at boys as my friend and never really thought of them as a crush I suppose. So I think my first crush probably would have been somebody in a boy band, maybe someone from Backstreet Boys or something like that. But uh, it's strange because I'm with my boyfriend now eight years and I met him when I was 18 so I'd say, sounds really corny but I'd say he's my like, proper first crush. <laughs> I waited till later on in life and I think I had a lot of younger, or when I was younger I had a lot of friends who were boys and I was just friends so I think I waited till I was ready to kind of to go a step further and I was probably my boyfriend when I was 18. Yeah I think uh, we went, it's funny enough because we always always talk about it with my friends and we have the same group of friends and that but uh, we went to the cinema at like three o'clock in the day I always remember we went to Stone Larry and went to the cinema but um, I think it's, it's good to go to the cinema as well because at least you can be quiet for a few hours and you don't have to talk all the time. But we were lucky enough that we both kind of were interested in football. So we always just, when we met up, we just talked about football for the first time. And it was kind of nice to have that common interest, I suppose. I think just be yourself. I think, I know obviously it's easy to say that when there's other things going on in your life and you feel like you have to be a part of a crowd. But I think the older you get, you'll realise that you are who you are and whatever you're meant to be is what you're going to be and you can't really kind of follow the crowd, you have to just be yourself as best you can and I think most girls nowadays kind of have that good head on their shoulders that they're not going to kind of just follow the crowd and I never did, I don't think, I think I always made up my own mind, I was always kind of a strong person and I never kind of followed the crowd but I think just be yourself and, and do what you want and do what you think is best and you'll be okay.